Um, something else you, you you mentioned at the start of this conversation was about a nanny. And I, I wrote that down because it was a slightly obscure thing to hear, but I wanted to come back to it just before we, we conclude, which was that you were poisoned by a nanny. <laughs> I've been very unlucky, haven't I? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, this was bizarre. This was bizarre. This is like a movie. I had this nanny. Uh, it was when Alfie was uh, obviously in the home, so I needed all the help I could get. And... Um, I trusted her implicitly with my daughter and I had a really good relationship with her. I liked her. She was a lovely girl um, and, you know, very reliable, etc. I also had a lady that used to sort of pop in with and do odd jobs. And while I was going through that period with Alfie, she would also prepare our meals. So all I had to do uh, before HelloFresh and... Gusto. Mm -hmm. It's what I had to do to, um, you know, she she just make it easier for me. And uh, what I didn't know was that she and the nanny didn't get on. And the nanny, instead of coming to me and saying, look, I've got a problem here. Can we talk about it? She thought the best tactic would be to get the, the cook the sack. So she thought, I know, I'll start off by putting uh, copious amounts of sugar in, in, in the food after she's prepared it. So I came home from work and I'm sat there and I um, cooked dinner. Everything seems fine. And we had fish. And when we sat down to eat the fish, the sauce tasted like custard. <laughs> um but, you know, the first time it happens, you think, mm, maybe she acts, I don't know, maybe she's just used the wrong pot. Yeah. And then the second time, a few weeks later, same thing happened again. This time, it was salt. And I thought, there's something wrong here. Um, and I, want, I obviously needed to talk to the, to the lady that was doing the food. So that's what I'd arranged to do. But before I had chance to speak to her, um, the nanny was taking my daughter to Blue Water and I'd left my lunch at home. And so I called her and I said, you wouldn't drop it in for me, would you? She said, yeah, no problem, I'll do it on the way. So she came over, unbeknown to me, on the way, pulled over, poured um, screen wash into my soup, sealed it all back up again, then went to the petrol station, sorted herself out petrol for the car. She's got my daughter in the back, brings it to my office, gets in the lift, brings it up, gives it to me. I say, thanks, Ali, taken it from her. Then she's gone off to Blue Water with Scarlett. So I didn't know straight away because it wasn't until I come to I came to eat it at um, lunchtime. Luckily, I took quite a large mouthful, and the reason I say that is because I don't think I would have tasted it otherwise. Mm. And I spat it out because immediately it tasted of chemical. Of course, screen wash can kill you. And. Um, Yeah, we. I, I then went into meltdown because obviously she got my daughter with her. Did you know straight away that she'd done that? I, yes, I, I, it was just instinct. My instinct was she, it was her, but I needed to talk to the cook first. But this all happened too quickly. I thought if I ring the police, is she of sound mind? Would, you know, would that make things worse? So I just waited for her to, to, cause she was due to come back anyway and drop Scarlett off with me. And um, yeah, when she did, um, I took Scarlett and um, my HR, um, Gary at the time and uh, someone else, my sister actually, I think it was, um, confronted her. And what did and she, she admitted it. 
You're joking. And not at first. She, first of all, she denied it, but went bright red. And then they said, look, if you tell us the truth, we won't need to get the police involved. So she just blurted it out. She said, okay, I did it. I don't, I don't like the cook. I don't like the cook. And uh, of course, I then felt I could do nothing but call the police because this is a woman that is going to, even when she leaves, even when she leaves me, she's going to get another job doing this where she could do something like this to another family. And, and so she was charged. It went to court. She appeared on Good Morning Britain first thing in the morning and was at court in the afternoon, which didn't go down with the judge either, well with the judges, you can imagine. Um, you know, trying to get public sympathy and, and... Sorry, public sympathy. Yeah, I think, you know, these people don't always see their own wrongs, do they? They, they, it's never their fault. Whose fault was it in Have You? <sighs> um, I think she just, she was just trying to put herself across in, in a, yeah. in a positive way. Um, you know, she wasn't trying to harm me, but nevertheless, she was in a trusted position and you can imagine the the sort of trauma I felt for those few hours. Mm. Um, and actually afterwards, because, you know, you then are questioning whether you can ever trust anybody again. Yeah. Um, I'm, I just, you know, it's something else that makes you feel vulnerable. Um, she, you know, she kept messaging me, trying to get the, the court case canceled. And of course, once it goes through that process, it can't anyway. She was uh, found guilty. She was sentenced to um, a year in prison and she served three months. Fucking hell. That is awful. Do you know what I mean? Like p potentially killing somebody and um, poisoning someone's food. You get three months in prison. Mm. And then when she came out of prison, I then... Um, I had to take out an injunction on her because I found out that she was trying to write a book about that time. Ugh. I mean, you know, how much more disgusting can it get? Uh.